Hi there. Welcome to TAV Tech Tips. I'm Corey with TAV Technology. Today we are going to be telling you about the different types of twisted pair cable and the different ways to terminate. Let's start with the cable. Twisted pair cable can be identified by the printing on the side of the cable sheet. There are many different types, jacket sizes, and thicknesses. Twisted pair typically uses a 23 AWG size wire. It is a four pair cable that is color coded. There's CAT5, CAT5E, CAT6, CAT6A, CAT7, and CAT8. All twisted pair cables are compatible with the different RJ45 connectors that are available, and they are all backwards compatible. CAT6 is a standard classification. Each has its own benefits, but right now we are just going to worry about CAT6. There are three types of connectors that I will be showing you today. These connectors can be used with all types of CAT cable, including CAT5A, CAT5E, CAT6, CAT6A, and CAT7. CAT6 is the most common you will run into. First, I will show you the RJ45 pass-through. You will see these in most scenarios. You can find these in most audio, visual, and data applications. They consist of an RJ45 crystal with little holes in the end to allow cable pass-through on termination and are of the male type. You can use an RJ45 crimper tool to terminate these. Next, we will show you an RJ45 punch down. The places that you will see these the most are in racks, patch bays, and wall plates. The connector on these are usually female. You can use a punch down tool to terminate these. And lastly, you can use a Belden Rev Connect. These connectors are not as common as it is a newer product. Rev Connect can come in many forms, male or female, plastic or metal. You can use these in all applications from patch cables, patch bays, racks, and wall plates. You need a specialized Rev Connect crimping tool to do the terminations. First, I'm going to show you how to terminate an RJ45 passer connector. You'll need an RJ45 crimping tool. You'll need a pair of cutters. You'll need a connector. And you'll need some cable. So first off, you're going to have to strip about an inch to an inch and a half of uh, sheath off the cable. I like using the RJ45 cutter that comes built in on all these RJ45 crimping tools. Next, you're going to have to cut the string and a little piece of plastic that come in most cat cable. Then, you're supposed, going to have to separate all these into the separate pairs. Untwist them and straighten them out. To straighten them out, you can use a tool, a screwdriver, anything flat, but I prefer to use my fingers. Now that we have them all straightened, we are going to have to decide if we're going to use a type A or type B type connector. For this demonstration, I am going to use a type B. So what a type B is, it goes white orange, orange, white green, blue, white blue, green, and then white brown, brown. Make sure that those are lined up in the appropriate order. Next, make sure that they are cut flush so they are all the same length. Take the connector, push the wire into the connector, put the connector into the 8P slot on your RJ45 crimping tool, crimp down, it punches all the pins down and cuts the wire, and there you have an RJ45 pass-through connector. Now I'm going to show you how to do an RJ45 punch down. First, you need a RJ45 connector, a punch down crimping tool, cutters, and once again, I'm going to use the RJ45 crimping tool. Cut an inch to an inch and a half back, remove the plastic, cut the string, and remove the plastic from the inside. These are a little bit different than the RJ45 pass-through connectors as each of the punch-down connectors have colors on each side telling you where to put the wire. Once again, I am doing a type B, so I'll follow the type B color coding on the sides, which is orange, orange-white, green, green-white, brown, brown-white, and blue, blue-white. You take your cable, 
you don't have to untwist them the whole way. Just twist, untwist them enough that you can get them into the little color-coded slots. Next, you insert it into the punch-down tool. Squeeze down. It pushes each wire into the slot and cuts them. Next, you take the little plastic cover, put it on top, and now you can insert this into patch bays, keystones, wall plates, anything you would like. Last but not least, I'm going to show you how to do a Belden Rev Connect. First, you need a Rev Connect connector, Rev Connect crimping tool, cutters, and something to strip with. And once again, I am using the RJ45 crimping tool. First, you take the cable, you strip back an inch to an inch and a half, cut the string, and cut the plastic. Rev connects are a little bit different from the other two connectors, as they're, they are color-coded, but in a different manner. First, for the rev connect, you take the cable housing. On the bottom of it, it has type A, type B. You need, we're doing type B, so you will have to follow the color coding for that. First, you spread out the wires, take the orange and brown, put them in the two bottom holes. Next, you find the color coding on the side that matches brown and blue, and line those up together. Then, you take and put them in the little slots that are available for those colors. Give it about a quarter turn and pull down. All we are looking for in this is to make sure the white wire of the pair is on the outside edge of the housing. Next, you take the Rev Connect top, slide it on top, push down, flip the little switch on your Rev Connect crimping tool, Push it in, squeeze. That will crimp everything together so you can slide it into the connector. We are using a male connector right now. You take the end, push it into the connector until you hear a click, close it up, and you got your Rev Connect connector. Thank you for watching our twisted pair guide on how to terminate Cat 6 cables. I am Corey, this is TAV Tech Tips. Make sure you like and subscribe, and we will see you next time.